So when you are li looking at AI, it's actually an industrial revolution. So don't look at smaller use cases. It's all that I would say. So what is really the impact of artificial, um, you know, uh, intelligence? Now, what you have to essentially look at is that whenever we have a new technology or an industrial revolution coming up, you think of it in terms of first order effects and the second order effects. Uh, zero order effects, I mean, it's just that you log in, you try out some stuff. So we don't really want to spend much time on that. And currently we are in a phase of zero order effects and some folks are moving on to first order effects. So what do I mean by that, right? So for example, if you look at the case of software, building software, the first order effects are that soon you will see the volume of software which is developed is going to grow exponentially. Software is going to be built on demand. It's not going to be sort of pre-built. And this sort of uh, either what we call, uh, call as a short term or a medium term would soon be eclipsed by a long term view where the second order effects will kick in. Software essentially, the software development essentially becomes disposable. Instead of maintaining some huge legacy mountains of code, I mean, I, I used to be part of some huge projects uh, in my earlier companies, and uh, it becomes very easy to create than just maintain. And we are going to see a revolution where anyone who knows a basic language such as English should be able to create their own very complex apps. I will soon come to some of the examples, which in my own personal experience, we have created uh, in this fashion. Software essentially will become ambient. Your apps will become ambient. It's not going to be very explicit. It's going to be all pervasive. And we have predictions that all of this should kick in within the next 12 months to 24 months. 